guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we have kind of like a fun video i'm kind of experimenting for this nail set because i'm a little bit nervous that it won't look good i guess we'll find out we're gonna be taking these off because i'm tired of looking at these they're a little bit grown out like this just is not it anymore <laughs> so let's just get started on these nails here's how they're looking i'm just gonna start by trimming them off Okay, short nails. Now we're gonna pull out the dust collector and my e-file and we're going to remove as much of the poly gel as we can because there's a lot on here. So let's just get filing these down. Okay, so I have the nails filed down the best I could and now we're gonna take some acetone and I'm just going to pour some in this bowl and I'm just gonna soak my nails in there for a good five or ten minutes and I'll be back okay so this is what I got poly gel is so hard to take off like it took me so long just to even get to here and like I know like some of it's not even fully off but I'm just going to get into the basic nail prep now okay so now I have my nail tips and I'm just gonna get sizing them out okay now I'm gonna glue the nail tips on with some base coat Okay, so I have the nail tips all glued on and now I'm just going to be trimming them down. All right, so now that I have the nails at the length that I like, I'm just going to reshape them. Okay, so I have the nail shaped up a little bit and now I'm just going to remove the shine from the nail tips. Next, I'm going to be adding on some base coat. Okay, so for this video, we're going to be doing some pink milk bath nails, but instead of more flowery, we're going to make it Valentine's. So like along with the dried flowers, I'm going to add in some light pink like hearts and maybe some pink butterflies, but definitely some gold flakes and possibly some glitter so we first have to make kind of like our milky kind of pink clear color so i'm gonna start off with some clear poly gel and i'm just gonna put it on my mixing plate then i'm gonna add in some white just like the smallest amount i don't really want this mixture to be like opaque i mean kind of but not really and then i have some light pink and i'm gonna add just like a little bit of this so I'm going to mix this up and see what we get. So I think this is a good color. I'm just going to add this on the nail and then I'm going to smooth it out. Okay, so here's what I got the nail to look like. I'm pretty sure I have like a color kind of like this, but I'm kind of lazy to look for it and I don't really mind mixing it. I have this one, but this one's 
too i feel like it's too pink you know what i mean but i need something that's a little more like milky but the only reason why i kind of don't like using this mixture is because it gets a lot of bubbles in it so on to the fun part i'm gonna get everything that i'm gonna be putting in these nails ready to go i'm gonna try and stick to more like pink flowers so i got these kind of flowers and i'm just gonna kind of pull all the flowers apart so they turn into the tiny little specks of flower Okay, so I'm kind of like laying out the different things that I'm going to put in this nail. I'm going to also use some butterflies because I feel like butterflies, flowers, they kind of go together. And also some gold flakes. And I might possibly use some of these glitters. So let's just get putting all this stuff into the nail. So I'm just going to add in all these little flowers and butterflies and flower here i've only done milk bath nails once so i'm pretty excited to do these and they're like pink i put this one on upside down i'm hoping that these hearts even look good because i don't really see anybody putting glitters in milk bath nails but i'm not really sure Okay, so after I have all the nail decorations on, I'm just going to be mixing together some poly gels to make like that foggy clear. So I didn't want it to be as opaque as the base layer that we put because this is like the surface of the milk bath. So it kind of has to make all the decorations look like a little bit foggy, but also not like completely hidden. So I mixed a lot of clear with like a little bit of pink and white just so it can be like slightly slightly colored and for some reason i feel like on camera the nails look really like more white than pink but they look pink in person just i don't know on camera they look white when you're looking at the base layer it looks light pink but then after all the decorations is on and then after i put that final layer of poly gel then it starts to look more white So I just did the first nail to kind of like test out how the set was going to look. I don't want to do all the nails and then it not look good in the end. So we're continuing on to the other nails on the middle finger. I'm just doing the same thing, adding that base of that light pink. going to be adding in all my nail decorations honestly adding on all these nail decorations was really fun and i feel like it's really satisfying to watch as well
like I said earlier in the video, I kind of don't like to mix poly gels around that much because they always end up with a lot of bubbles in them and obviously the bubbles don't look that good. But for this, I feel like the bubbles weren't that noticeable because all the nail decorations covered the base layer and then when I added on the layer on top, like it was such a thin layer that the bubbles just kind of went away. But for just a regular opaque color, I don't really like mixing together poly gels. Just the bubbles get so annoying and it's, I don't know, it's really hard to fix them or it's hard to like pick out the bubbles and or like pop the bubbles. It gets really annoying. But luckily for this set, they weren't that noticeable. Another thing that I was kind of nervous about for this nail set is that I kind of like over decorated them like I jam packed them with all the different decorations and I was kind of afraid that it wouldn't look that good so that's why I finished one nail before I go on and just do all the nails at once after I did the pointer finger I saw that after I added the last foggy layer of poly gel kind of like dialed down all the decorations so I feel like it looked better after I did that My sister actually gave me this idea for this nail set so i decided on this nail set doing like pink milk bath and then also adding in those glitter hearts you know to give it that touch of valentine's you know it's like pink milk bath with the hearts So when I added on this top layer of poly gel, I was trying to make sure that that layer wasn't too thick because if I put a thick layer of that, then the nail wouldn't have that nice like milky effect, I guess. Because if I put too much of that poly gel, then the nail decorations would be kind of like too covered up. And I didn't want that. I wanted you to still kind of see some parts of the decorations as like clear, but other parts be more foggy. So then I added on little patches of just clear poly gel along with the clear pink. So I feel like that also added some different like dimension I guess to the nail.
Okay, and here's how the nails are looking once all the poly gel is on, and now I'm just gonna get reshaping them. And for these nails, I could have gone over them with some clear poly gel, but I feel like the amount of poly gel that I already had on the nails was good enough. But if you're following along or doing this nail set, just know that if the structure of your nails isn't that good, you can always go over it with some clear poly gel. popped off. So he decided not to actually rip her, <laughs> but instead to masturbate <laughs> Okay, and here's how the nails are looking after they are all shaped, and I'm just gonna wipe off all the dust from the nails. Then we're gonna go in with some top coat and just finish off these nails. I didn't really add anything else to the nails. I feel like they were just good on their own, and I was also really excited to see how they were gonna look with top coat on. Then we're gonna go ahead and add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I like it, I think it's cute and I think it's like a different type of Valentine's Day nail set. You know, it's something more nature-y. I like how they turned out and it was fun to do milk bath nails and it was fun to add in all the decorations. I really like the gold foils in this nail. I think they look so good and they just add something really nice to this nail set. I feel like you can also do this nail set with the Femi Beauty method. If any of you try this nail set and you try it with the Femi Beauty method, let me know because I feel like this would work really good with that. But overall, this was a really fun nail set to do, and it was like fun to use all my decorations that I haven't used in a while. But that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!